Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be adding switches to our iPhone slash Android app. Now switches are one of those little things you uh, often see in your in the settings of some apps where there's like a on, if you click on it, it changes between, I don't know, like on and off in the text and it, you can change like uh, some settings and you can turn them off or you can turn it off. Uh, I don't know, what's a good example in the settings? I don't know, you can change subtitles on or subtitles off in a game if they have one something like that and we are going to be adding that into our app so with our blank clean black bland blank new blank green with our clean app.js nothing written uh, if you've been following my video all you need to do is just clear, uh, clear your app.js if you haven't don't worry all you need to do is just create a new default uh, titanium mobile project and delete whatever's in your app.js and start fresh okay so what we're going to do first is as usual create a win a uh, variable win to add a new tie.ui.create new window and inside that uh, what we're going to do we just let's just add a color and make it white like usual, oops, I keep on adding semicolons over there, but don't add it here. Now let's create a switch. So var switch, switch, and we'll be adding uh, about two switches. So let's call this switch zero one equals tie dot ui dot create switch like so. And there's going to be a couple of options inside. I want this to be added a hundred pixels from the top and I want the value of this to be true. Now what this is, is because this uh, switch has a value of on and off or true and false or one and zero, initially I want it to be uh, set to be true, on, one, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now we are going to be creating a label because uh, we want the label to display uh, on and off or one and zero or true and false because so that we know what's happening. So what we're going to do is create a label 01 equals tie.ui.create label. It's just like my slider video, creating a label to display the result. Okay, so the text is going to be uh, click, press, press the switch, switch above, like that. And I want the height of that to be about 40 pixels. And the width, I'm just, oops, not with the, I want the width to be auto, doesn't really matter, and I want it to be, because the switch is 100 pixels, I want it to be about 150 pixels, or 160 pixels from the top. So we've got our switch, and we've got a label. The next thing we want to do is add an event listener to our switch. So below our label, we are going to do switch uh, 01.add event listener I always make mistakes I always make typos in my ad event listener so I'm going to be cap be careful and make sure that uh, there we go I don't do any uh, stupid mistakes so it's going to be a change and I'm going to do the usual function e and inside we are going to have uh, the label 01 equals uh, no label 01 dot text we want to change the text to the e dot value and what that does just like in my uh, sliders video it's going to return the value of the switch on or off true or false zero or one okay and the last thing we need to do is add the win dot add add the switch to our win so switch zero one oops zero one and add our uh, what do we need label there we go label zero one to our window and don't forget to open the window with window open now let's check our work with our iPhone simulator hopefully it's the uh, simulator is not going to take too time to load too 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 much time to load too much time to load because if oh there we go that's quick because if it takes too much time to load it's going to waste unnecessary time in my video which isn't really good there we go so we have a switch and by default it's set to true or on or one whatever you want to call it because in our switch the value is true 
Now, initially the label here has a text saying press the switch above or click on the switch above and when I click on it, it's going to go to zero because the off state is zero and when I go to on or when I click on it, it's going to go to one. So it's uh, when I click on it's going to be one when I click off it's going to be zero now this changes if I'm using an Android so let me quickly uh, pause my video and load my Android emulator because Android emulator takes absolutely ages for me so I'll be right back Okay, I'm back now. Uh, one, when my uh, Android emulator loaded, loaded, I accidentally clicked on the this, so the text disappeared. However, it's a bit small. I think I'll zoom in on this part. But if I click on it, instead of it being zero or one, the Android uh, gives you the value of true and false. True being when it's on, and false being when it's off. So if I go back to my iPhone, true or on is when it's on one and off is when it's on zero. So that's a slight difference between Android and iPhone. Now I am going to close both my iPhone simulator and my Android simulator, like so. And then what I'm going to do is uh, create another label. However, this label is only going to work if uh, the, the platform is an Android. So if you only interested in uh, creating iPhone apps, then I guess you can go to the next video or uh, play around with it or if still you can actually watch it because it's really fun and if you're thinking about creating an Android phone then yeah just stay. Okay so enough ranting and in between this uh, event listener and my label I'm going to give it some space and then what I'm going to do is say var platform equals uh, tie dot platform dot os name now if you have watched my previous video you uh, I think you understand that this actually tells you which platform the user is currently using the OS OS hmm? the iOS or the Android okay so now we are going to be using a lot of if statements so we are going to create a first one if the platform equals Android. This is because we only want the switch to actually load when the user is using the Android phone. So if the platform equals Android what we're going to do is create a variable switch 02 and it's going to be equal it's not going to equal but that is a tie.ui.create that's not label switch there we go and inside that we're going to say the top is 200 because we want it to be under our first switch, switch 01 and the value is going to be true by default and then what we could do is style and we're going to change the style to tie.ui.android and because we have using this android it's only going to work with android phones so tie.ui.android.switch and style, so we're going to change the style of a switch to, let's change it to checkbox. Okay, so, uh, yep, that will do. And then, uh, underneath that, uh, because that's our if statement over here, underneath here, we are going to be creating our label that we only, we also only want to uh, load if your the user is using an Android phone. So, create label and inside we're going to say text and press the switch above like the like label 1 and the height is going to be 40 the width is going to be auto just like off label 1 not auto auto and it's going to be uh, we had 160 pixels so we're going to be adding let's say 260 pixels like so Okay, so now what we're going to do is add an event listener, however, oh, add an event listener underneath this switch one. However, we mustn't forget to create an if statement first, because we only want it to load if it's an Android. So if it's an Android, we are going to be creating an event listener for switch, oops, switch 02 dot add event listener, and it's going to be change and function 
E. There. And inside it, it's going to be similar to, oops, uh, yeah, it's going to be similar to, where's my tab? There we go, label one, or uh, switch one's event listener. And instead, we're going to go do it for label two. Label two dot text dot e, text equals e dot value. There we go. I think that's right. And that finishes our if statements for over here. Now, the last thing we want to do is add our label zero two and what was our name? Switch zero two into our win, but we only want to do that if it's an Android phone. So lastly, we need to create another if statement using the uh, platform variable. And if it's an Android, we want it to win dot add, lay, not label first, switch first, switch zero two and win dot add label zero two, like so. Now I'm going to, oops, my Dropbox has sync, finished syncing and it's going, it gave me a notification, but let's ignore that. And I think that's it. Yep, platform, that's fine. I'll load both my iPhone simulator and my Android simulator again. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and both my simulator and my emulator for iPhone and Android has loaded. Now, I'm not going to fiddle around with my iPhone, but as you can see, there's only one switch for my iPhone and there's two switch for my Android. And if I click on on and off, it's going to give me true and false as a return value. And I also have this other switch. And uh, as you can see, it's different to the default switch for my Android because I changed the style to a checkbox. So as you can see, I keep on using it as you can see. Okay, I'm going to stop using that. And uh, if you look over at my second switch, you can see that when, it, the, when the return value is true, instead of it having an on, uh, let's keep it like that. Instead of it having an on, it's got this tick mark with a green uh, background so it looks as if it's like ticked and when I click it and it turns it off the checkbox has been unclicked so there's no background there's no color inside the tick and it's giving it's returning the same value false as my default off like so so that was a quick video hope it was a quick one yeah ah, 30 minutes again my titanium video is always like over the 10 minutes okay, oh well so that was a video a video tutorial on adding switches to your uh, iPhone and Android and then also adding custom switches or changing styles of your switch in the Android phone